Well, hey there, it is Dr. Kevin here. I hope this message finds you well. And I wanted to shoot this quick video for you because there's something I discovered about moods and how you can change your mood fairly quickly. So if you find yourself, well, either being negative or you're worrying about something, you feel depressed or down and out, there's probably a reason behind that. And this happened to me. So just some background information. You know, over the last couple of years, there has been an illness running the country, well, running the entire world. And as a physician, I found myself, well, I was involved with a physician forum. These were some of the top doctors in the entire world teaching other doctors how to evaluate and essentially treat and address this illness. So every morning I would check in and go down the line of all the updates. And then I would get pulled down a rabbit hole because then it led into politics. And then throughout the day, I would get text messages from friends and colleagues about the subjects. And my whole day essentially was being run and subconsciously, my mind and my moods were being run based upon the information I was feeding it. And I got to a point and I realized enough. I didn't like the way I was feeling and I knew what was happening. So I'm gonna share with you what I did and hopefully it can help you as well. First and foremost, I asked myself the question, does it pertain to me, right? Some of the information was stuff that I needed to know and others was not, especially the politics behind it and some of the text messages, right? I just didn't need to get involved with that stuff. So ask yourself a question. The information that you are, well, feeding your brain and engaged with, does it pertain to you? Is it going to change your life? Is it absolutely necessary that you read to it, pay attention to it and get emotionally involved with it? Because if it doesn't, cut it out. Secondly, allow yourself only so much time. I got to a point with all this information, I says, all right, I'm gonna allow myself so much time to stay updated on the information coming in and then that's it, then I have to move on with my day so I can be productive, right? And then lastly, ask yourself a question, what mood do you want to be in? Because then you have to feed yourself information that's going to support it. For instance, Music. Music is a phenomenal modality to change your mood. I love music. So when I take a shower, when I work out, I'm playing music that really supports my mood, that I want to be grateful, happy, whatever it may be. So again, let's go over them really, really quickly. First and foremost, ask yourself the question, does this information pertain to me? If not, cut it out. Number two, only allow yourself so much time to be inundated with this information. Then you need to move on to what's important in your day. What are your priorities? What are you focused on? What are your goals? You have work, family, friends, what have you. And then lastly, ask yourself what kind of information or how can I change my environment? Heck, you could even go for a walk, put on some music, something to support your mood. It could be reading, feeding yourself more information to support the mood you want to be in. So those are three quick things that helped me and I think they can help you and perhaps even help someone that you care about or know about. And why not share this information with them? In fact, I support the fact that you're here and I'd love for you to be able to support other people. That way we're in this together. If you would subscribe to this channel because I will be coming out with regular information to help support you on your journey. So you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, I appreciate you for doing that. And then if you need additional resources and or training, you can always go to my website up there in the banner. It's kevindobrinsky.com where I have additional free resources and even free training for you. Hey, I appreciate you being here. It's Dr. Kevin. And until I see you again next time, I want you to eat well and be well.